Hello everyone, Helen here, back in the garden somewhere, looking for inspiration for my large abstracts as well as my more traditional paintings. This week I'm back in Gamblesby. I'm here for a second look at the Cumbrian garden of Caitlin and Matt. The reason I'm back here is because whilst I'm making progress on a more traditional painting for them as part of their commission, I also want to make an abstract painting to reflect a more complete view. I've already got a couple of ideas in my sketchbook reflecting the colours I mentioned in last week's blog, including the large orange rectangle inspired by the clipped beech tree, as well as the orange and pink circles of the fallen cherry. But I want more, so I've enlisted the help of an old friend who I'd like to introduce you to now. Everyone, please meet Derek. Derek often helps me to see the views that just aren't possible from the ground. I was inspired to use Derek as one of my favourite abstract landscape painters is the St Ives artist Peter Lanyon, who used his experiences of gliding to inform his large abstracts. As I don't glide, Derek is the next best thing. Let me show you what he's got for me this week. Just look at the fabulous marks made by the tractors in the field beyond the garden. And also how the road colours match the hills in the distance and almost looks like a gash in the landscape. Looking back in the garden from the field, you get a great shadow of the trees as it links the field and the bottom of the garden. Moving round to the front of the garden, Derek shows us the trees from above, strong and vertical, almost like soldiers on sentry duty guarding the house. They're really powerful images and things that I'll definitely be using in my painting. So I'm back in my studio now and experimenting with some of those shapes and colours that I've seen in the garden. Some of the colours and shapes that Derek showed me that I wasn't able to get from just looking from the ground. So I'll use all this information, photographs, drone footage, sketches and painting studies to create a composition for a canvas I have ready to go in my studio. And I'll keep you updated this week. In the meantime, I'd love to get some feedback from you. Maybe what you'd like me to feature, or if you'd like me to visit your garden, maybe. Next week, I'm off to Scotland. But for now, thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll hopefully see you again next Sunday morning.